you know, we're kind of starting to look at a lot of ground. This is one of those lakes, it's really a bowl, but there's some subtle, subtle elements to the lake. We've got one shoreline that drops into 10 feet right off the, right off the bank, and those are likely, you know, that's a great spot to fish in the fall, and it's another great spot that doubled up. Oh, I lost that one. And another great spot to fish right away in the spring, right after ice out when the water's still really cold. And then naturally the next spot you want to look at is those shallow flats. So we'll do a little rip around this whole side of the lake here is real shallow and leading up into that we got that really sharp, sharp drop. So those are the two places we'll look at in a lake, you know, that's really pretty much doesn't have a lot of features to it. There's not a lot of points or there's no sunken humps or anything like that in here. It's a really simple lake, but those are the spots that we're going to check out. Yeah, we'll tell, we'll tell and down, 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 we catch a fish or two and then <coughs> fan cast an area. If the fish are not coming off of a very targeted piece of shallow water cover, yeah, you know, and when we get a fish a little ways out on a flat, flat, we'll drive, we'll, we'll, we'll tail and down and then fan cast that area, say in a three to six foot area, fan cast and cover some water. And you'd be surprised, you got a little pot of moving fish and you can catch six, seven, eight, ten fish from one tail and down spot. And then you kind of burn the activity, lift it up and keep going again. If you're target fishing, you know, side of a dock, clumps of weeds that you could see, bush, bushes, uh, uh, stumps, that's a different story. Yeah, you know, then you just keep moving. You're, you're fishing one fish spots. You get a little further out on that flat and you can have, you know, pods of fish coming in.